हेलो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नेक्स्ट इवेंट हैंडलर व्हिच इज ऑन फोकस ऑन फोकस इवेंट हैंडलर इज बेसिकली यूज्ड इन फॉर्म टेक्स्ट फील्ड्स दिस इवेंट हैंडलर इज टू बी यूज्ड व्हेन यू वांट टू गिव फोकस ऑन एन एलिमेंट ऑफ द फॉर्म दिस विल अट्रैक्ट द विजिटर टू द फील्ड and you can also use this event handler to show the current active field so we will use this event handler in this video to do an example i will create two input fields when we select the field we have to use on focus and the color of the field would change all that we have to do using the on focus event handler so first of all let's create two input fields so for that i will write field 1 then input type is equals to text then id is equals to text 1 then on focus then when we are using on focus we have to call the function so here i will write active field which is the name of my function and then i have to write break tags let's write two break tags here okay so just copy this part and paste it under okay and this will be field 2 and i have to change its id from text 1 to text 2 okay now i am done creating the input fields now the next is to write the function so for function i have to write in the script tag and uh, first i will declare the function function and the name of function is active field okay now inside the function we have to write uh, uh we have a single function here but uh, you can see there are two fields that are calling the fu this function so we have to pass the parameters uh, just because uh, uh, suppose if the field 1 calls this function then we don't know uh, then Uh, then through this function we will not be able to know which field has called the function it can be field 1 or it can be field 2 so we must have to know what field has called the function so that we can show some interactivity on the fields so in the input fields we will pass their ids so uh, from here i will pass the id of this field and as well i will pass the id of this field and now in the function definition i will store this id value into a x variable so i will write here x so the the id text one from this field is passed to the function as the actual parameter and here as the formal parameter the x will get the id it is text one and if the field 2 calls the function then here x will get the text 2 so through this way we will get to know what field has called the function okay now we can use the value of x to select the field so now i will write here uh, i will write document dot get get element by id and here i have to write the id so my id is stored in the x variable so i will write here x then we have to use dot then style and style dot background because i want to change its background color to the suppose yellow okay then a semicolon so this will change the background color of the field to yellow when the field 1 this field is clicked on focus event handler will call the active field function and it also passes the id of the field to the function here which will be further used to change the background color same thing will happen when we click the second field so now let's try the example in the browser 
so we just have to save it and click on run and launch in firefox okay you can see i'm getting two fields here now when i click the field uh, it changes to yellow and when i click on the second field it also changes to yellow now one more thing that we should do here is that when we click on any other field it should revert back the color currently the color is not changing back to the transparent or white you can see if i reload the page again the field one is white so when i click on it it becomes yellow the own focus has applied and it calls the function which changed its background color but uh, when i click on field 2 then the own focus also called the function again but uh, when but the field one is also the same color as it was previously so we must have to change revert back the color to the transparent when the field is not active so when we are clicking on the field it changes to yellow because of the on focus now we want to change color when user click outside the field which is the example of on blur event handler and luckily we have already done that in previous videos so we just have to write on blur event handler with the id as parameter to the input field and then we will call a function which would change the color of the field so just go back to the html part and you have to use on blur event handler which will call the revert back function okay and here you will also have to pass the id okay so copy this part and paste it here also okay now we have to write the revert back function so i'm copying my active field function and pasting it under this and just change its name to revert back and uh, you have to change its color to the none because you don't want any color when the field is not active so through this way i would change the background color of input field to none which would give me default color so whenever the field is clicked then active field function will be called and whenever the field becomes inactive then revert back function will be called Okay, now let's try the example in the browser. We have to save this and go back and refresh the page. Okay, here are the two input fields. Now let's click them one by one. Okay, then this. So you can see the background color is changing as we have defined. So this is how we use on focus event handler and also we have revised on blood event handler in this video class thanks for watching i see you in the next video class thank you